Tony Robinson Sir Anthony Robinson, born August 15, 1946, is an English actor, comedian, author, television presenter and political activist. He played Baldrick in the BBC television series Black Hatter and has hosted several historical documentaries including the Channel 4 programs Time Team and The Worst Jobs in History. He has also written 16 children's books. Robinson has been a member of the Labour Party for over 40 years and served on its National Executive Committee, being knighted for his public and political service in 2013. Early Life Robinson was born in Homerton, East London, the son of Mother Phyllis and Father Leslie Robinson. He attended Woodford Green Preparatory School and Wanstead County High Grammar School. He passed four O-levels, English Language, English Literature, History, and Geography, and went on to study for A-levels, but did not complete them and decided to study at a drama school instead. Too young to attend the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Robinson enrolled at the Central School of Speech and Drama in 1963 graduating in 1966. Robinson had his first acting role at the age of 13, as a member of Fagan's gang in the original production of the musical Oliver, including a stint as the artful Dodger when the boy playing the role failed to turn up. Over the next five years, he appeared in a number of West End shows, in film, and on television. His great-great-great-grandmother, Julia Levy, was Jewish. Acting Career Early Career After Drama School he spent four years in repertory theatre most notably at the West Yorkshire Playhouse in Leeds. Robinson won an Arts Council bursary to work as a director at the Midlands Arts Centre, Birmingham, and founded the Avon Touring Company, a Bristol-based community theatre company, with writer David Illingworth. He played a small role as student Dr. Grace in the 1972-73 series of Doctor in Charge. Robinson appeared in the 1974-75 season at Chichester Festival Theatre, as Angel Chicago in the Nativity musical Follow the Star. In the 1975 season, he appeared as Hofstad in Henrik Ibsen's Enemy of the People. In 1976, he appeared as Fest in Twelfth Night, and as Majoran in Monsieur Parachon's Travels. In 1972, Robinson starred in the children's educational program Sam on Boff's Island and was later a presenter on Play Away. He also appeared in the award-winning Horizon documentary Joey, and in the title role in the BBC production of The Miracle of Brother Humphrey. He also had a minor part in the film Brannigan starring John Wayne. He was also one of the team in the Channel 4 comedy-slash-satirical series Who Dares Wins in the early-slash-mid-1980s. Black Hatter Period, 1983-89 Robinson came to prominence in 1983 for his role in the British historical sitcom Black Hatter, as Edmund Blackadder's dog's body Baldrick. In the first series, broadcast as the Black Adder, he was quite astute, while his master was an idiot. Later series, Black Adder II, Black Adder III, Black Adder Goes Forth, moved the duo through history and switched the relationship. The Edmund Black Adder of Black Adder II was a brilliant schemer, whereas Baldrick had devolved into a buffoon whose catchphrase was I have a cunning plan, which he rarely had. Dot. In addition to his acting on Black Adder, Robinson also wrote and narrated several Jack and Ori-style children's programs, encouraged by Richard Curtis. Programs in this style included Tales from Fat Tulip's Garden, continued in Fat Tulip 2, Odysseus, The Greatest Hero of Them All, a retelling of the Iliad and the Odyssey, and Blood and Honey, Tales from the Old Testament, filmed on location. Robinson also performed within the BBC Radio 4 comedy Delve special, 1984-87 written by Tony Sarchette. After Black Hatter, 1989-1999 After Black Hatter, Robinson became the narrator and one of the lead actors for the British animated series Nellie the Elephant, based on the song of the same name. The series ran from 1989-91 and was screened on children's ITV. He also provided voiceover for the cartoon short Free Ranger, an English child scripted arts-funded production in 1989. Robinson also presented the early Saturday evening series Stay Tuned for BBC One, which featured a selection of classic Warner Brothers and MGM cartoons. In 1989, after attending a pantomime at Tyndale Baptist Church, Bristol, which was based on the Robin Hood story but featuring Maid Marian as the lead role, he created the children's comedy series Maid Marian and Her Merry Men, a loose retelling of the legend of Robin Hood in which he appeared as the Sheriff of Nottingham. Four series were broadcast on BBC One from 1989-94.
In 1990 he appeared as Shlomo Denkovas in an episode of Bergerac, entitled My Name's Sergeant Bergerac, Series 8, Episode 2. Also in 1994, Robinson played a minor part in an episode of the television series Minder, called One Flew Over the Parents' Nest and in which he played a character called Willie the Weed. 1999-2010 In 1999, Robinson returned to star as Baldrick in a one-off short film in the Black Adder series, made to celebrate the new millennium. Entitled Black Adder, Back and Forth, it was screened in the Millennium Dome throughout 2000 and was later aired on BBC One in 2002. Robinson also contributed the voiceover for the television series Airline screened from 1999 and focusing on the daily routine of EasyJet staff at a selection of airports. The series was made for ITV and is often repeated today on Sky Real Lives, Sky 1, Sky 2, Sky 3, now Pick TV, and ITV 2. Robinson worked as the narrator for six of the remaining nine series until 2006 when it ended. Tony Robinson's Cunning Night Out, a largely improvised stage show, followed in early 2005 and included a mix of the many themes from his career for which Robinson is famous. In addition to telling his own stories, Robinson narrated the abridged audiobook versions of Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels. Nigel Planer, Celia Imrie and Stephen Briggs narrated the unabridged versions. He also provided the voicing for several characters in the video game Discworld. He followed on this Discworld work by playing a role in the live-action television dramatization of Hogfather broadcast on Sky over the Christmas season in 2006. Robinson also presented Classic FM's Friendly Guide to Classical Music which aired on a Sunday at 4 p.m. The whole 16-episode series was repeated on December 26, 2006. He revealed on the BBC Radio 2 feature tracks of my years that his favorite songs are, I Can Help by Billy Swan, Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis, Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol, Beautiful by Christina Aguilera, Unfinished Sympathy by Massive Attack, Dangled Up in Blue by Bob Dylan, Should the Woulda Coulda by Beverly Knight, This Woman's Work by Maxwell, He's So Fine by The Chiffons and Falling Slowly by The Frames. In 2007, Robinson narrated television advertisements for Honda, in the humorous style of Tales from Fat Tulips Garden. The advertisements feature plastic cars with expressive faces, similar to Thomas the Tank Engine. He also did voiceovers for cleaning products Domestus and Vanish from 2709. Also in 2007, Robinson visited 30 towns in Britain and Ireland with his one-man show, A Cunning Night Out. This was later released on DVD. In July 2009, he appeared in the light-hearted BBC One series Hotel Babylon as a sly hitman named Arthur Barnes. The character is knocked unconscious by a flying bottle expertly lobbed by the hotel manager during a showdown in the lobby. 2010 Present In September 2013, Sir Jonathan Miller directed the gala performance of William Shakespeare's King Lear at the Old Vic in London, in which Robinson played the fool. In 2014, he played the title role in a touring production of The Hypochondriac, Richard Bean's new translation of Moliere's La Melodie Maginaire, directed by Lindsay Posner. History Presenter Beginnings and Time Team, 1994-2001 In 1994, Robinson began presenting Time Team a TV program devoted to archaeological investigations limited to three days, the outcome was never guaranteed, varying from spectacular to disappointing. The series spanned 20 years, and included 59 one-off specials, which paved the way for his later history-presenting career. In 2005 Exeter University conferred an honorary doctorate on Robinson, and honorary professorships on principal presenter Mick Aston and producer Tim Taylor to reflect its great appreciation for what Time Team has done for the public understanding of archaeology in the UK. In the 2011 episode Hitler's Island Fortress, Robinson described himself as an amateur archaeologist. Broader History Presenting, 2001-2012 From 2001, Robinson branched out into other history documentary series, including the series Fact or Fiction, which debunked historical myths and gave the true story followed by Romans in 2003 and the highly successful The Worst Jobs in History in 2006, researching and reenacting some of the more horrible jobs of the past millennium. He also took this show on tour around the country along with an autobiographical question and answer session. This first series was followed by The Worst Christmas Jobs in History in December 2005 and then a second series of The Worst Jobs in History on Channel 4 in April 2006. Following this, he presented one-off specials such as Britain's Real Monarch, 
2004, and The Real Da Vinci Code, 2005. With Channel 4 in 2005, he presented a special called Tony Robinson's Titanic Adventure where he joined director James Cameron on his final dive to the wreck of the RMS Titanic. Also with Channel 4, he presented Tony Robinson's Crime and Punishment, Catastrophe and Man on Earth focusing on humanity's struggle with climate change in the past 200,000 years. Unexplained with Tony Robinson was first broadcast on Channel 4 in December 2008. In this series, Robinson investigates paranormal phenomena combining the fields of archaeology, parapsychology, history and spiritualism to investigate paranormal evidence. He also presented the Doomsday Code in 2008. From September 1, 2010, Robinson hosted a series on the National Geographic channel called Birth of Britain which was repeated on Channel 4 beginning in January 2011. In 2011 he also presented Gods and Monsters. Tony Robinson Explores Australia was first broadcast in the first half of 2012. Filmed in high definition, the series roughly follows a chronology from the earliest sightings of Terra Australis Incognita through to the present with each era defined by a theme rather than equal blocks of time. From September 10, 2012, Robinson hosted a series on History Channel called Tony Robinson's Time Walks. The series uncovers stories that shape the character of various cities and suburbs around Australia, including Fremantle, Melbourne, Hobart, Wooloomooloo, Bendigo, Newcastle, Carlton, Brisbane, St Kilda, Adelaide, Canberra, Kalgoorlie, Townsville, and Launceston. He also went to Christchurch, New Zealand. In 2015, Robinson continued his history presenting in Australia with Tour of Duty, again on History Channel. During October 2012, it was announced that Time Team would be cancelled after nearly 20 years on television. Tara Conlon from The Guardian called the show television history. When talking about the successful run of the show, Robinson said not many performers are given the privilege of featuring in two iconic TV series, but I've been lucky. The show's ratings were falling causing Channel 4 to pursue an alternative innovative approach to historical documentary programming. Post-Time Team and Historical Walking Shows, 2012-Present Between 2012 and 2014, Robinson presented a series of programs for Channel 4 called Walking Through History. It featured Robinson hiking through iconic British landscapes, including the Cairngorms, the Jurassic Coast and Stonehenge. At least 16 hour-long episodes were aired, in four series. A further three-part series called Britain's Ancient Tracks with Tony Robinson was shown on Channel 4 in 2016. A second four-part series of Britain's Ancient Tracks was aired in 2017. In 2014, Robinson presented a history of the Great War titled Tony Robinson's World War I. He also presented The Real Mill, revealing the true history to the Channel 4 series, The Mill. In 2015, Robinson presented an hour-long program for Discovery TV. Tony Robinson's Wild West, in which he attempted to uncover the reality of America's Wild West in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Featuring such key figures as Wyatt Earp, Geronimo, and Buffalo Bill, it included artifacts and stereographic images. Also in 2015 he hosted a short-lived program Time Crashers. In 2016 he hosted Hidden Britain by Drone, exploring parts of Britain only accessible by drone. Data second series ran in 2018. In February 2017, Robinson hosted his self-titled Channel 5 program Tony Robinson, Coast to Coast. In 2018 Robinson continued his work with Channel 5 presenting Britain's Great Cathedrals where he uncovers the history behind six of Britain's best cathedrals. He also presented a two-part series on ancient Egypt called Egyptian Tomb Hunting. In March 2019 he premiered Around the World by Train with Tony Robinson on Channel 5 where he traveled to Asia. Australia and South America by rail. Series 2 of the program premiered in March 2020. In June 2019, Robinson presented a four-part series on Channel 5 titled The Thames, Britain's Great River with Tony Robinson where he walks the River Thames from source to the mouth. In January 2020 Robinson premiered a new program on Channel 5, Tony Robinson's History of Britain. Politics and Charity Work From 1996 to 2000, Robinson was vice president of the Actors' Union Equity, helping with a huge restructuring program which turned a £500,000 deficit into a small surplus. He continues to work with inequity. In 2000 he was elected to the Labour Party's National Executive Committee, a position he held to 2004. 
Robinson was also active in the Make Poverty History campaign during early 2005, in the lead-up to the G8 summit in Scotland, and is the patron for UK-based charity Street Child Africa. In March 2011, Robinson participated in the March for the Alternative Protests in Central London, which opposed the Conservative-led coalition UK government spending cuts programme. Robinson is Honorary President of the Young Archaeologists Club of the Council for British Archaeology. Robinson has shown his support for the Burma Campaign UK, an NGO that aims to highlight human rights violations in Myanmar under the State Peace and Development Council. Robinson is a patron of Older People's Charity Alive, saying that the organization is at the forefront of promoting stimulating activities which help improve the quality of life of people in care. Alive worked to transform the residential care sector so that older people's mental, social and emotional well-being is prioritized alongside their physical care. Robinson was knighted in the 2013 Birthday Honors for Public and Political Service. On June 23, 2018, Robinson appeared at the People's Vote March in London to mark the second anniversary of the referendum to leave the European Union. People's Vote is a campaign group calling for a public vote on the final Brexit deal between the UK and the European Union. On May 3, 2019, Robinson announced that he had left the Labour Party after more than 40 years of membership, citing his dissatisfaction with the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn in the party's handling of Brexit and anti-Semitism. He subsequently rejoined on April 4, 2020 after Jeremy Corbyn's resignation and Keir Starmer's election as Labour leader. Personal life Robinson was first married in 1969 to Barbara, Barty, Henschel, and divorced four years later. His partner from the late 1970s until 1992 was Mary Shepard, with whom he had two children, Laura and Luke. He married his second wife, Louise Hobbs, in 2011. In 2006, he appeared in Tony Robinson, Me and My Mom, a documentary surrounding his decision to find a nursing home for his mother, and the difficulty he had doing so. The documentary showed his mother's death in the home. It also featured stories from other families in similar situations. It appeared as part of Channel 4's short series of programs titled The Trouble with Old People. In late 2009, he was invited to be guest speaker at the Pride of Craigmore Awards, where he gave a speech about his time with his mother in finding a care home. He then went on to give the prizes to Craigmore's shining star and leading light. In January 2016, he described Alzheimer's as one of the last great medical terrors and announced he would be leaving money to the Alzheimer's Society in his will. Robinson is a fan of EFL Championship Club Bristol City FC. He is also a fan of the rock band Genesis and provided sleeve notes for the reissue of the album The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway as part of the Genesis 1970-1975 box set. Honors and Awards Selected Filmography Bibliography Selected Filmography Bibliography Selected Filmography